Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're all having a great Sunday afternoon, or it's Sunday evening here anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me, didn't mean to come at you so late today. But anyway, you see we got a couple Fairfield Repack boxes there. We're going to open one of those here in just a few minutes. But really quickly, my wife and I have actually been in Kentucky for a few days. We just got back late, well, early this morning, about 2 o'clock this morning. But at any rate, just, you know, took a few days, get a mini vacation out of the way, just a little relaxed time, downtime, and so forth. So the three videos that obviously you witnessed the last three days, I had actually recorded those on Thursday morning before I left, all three of them. So if uh, a couple people I think knew that I was out of town, but most of you didn't. So anyway, we're back at it again. And while we were, this is going to be a combination of Flea Market Finds video, but we're also going to do, a, do one of those Fairfield boxes. But anyway, on the way back from Kentucky, stopped at this place just south of Louisville in, in Elizabethtown called Interstate 65 Vendor Mall Antiques and Collectibles. If you're ever in that area, go check them out. They got some really neat stuff. So there was a, a case downstairs that had some uh, baseball cards in it. Of course, I couldn't resist. So went through. Got a couple of these 1992 Topps Wade Boggs gold. Always like getting the, the parallel versions of cards sometimes if I see something that's nice. Then got a, <clears throat> excuse me, a 2019, I believe it is. The Terry Francona autograph from Heritage last year. Is it Heritage or Archi Archives? I apologize. And it is numbered, number 9 out of 199, so I thought that was a nice little find. Then, living in Indianapolis area, got an Andrew McCutcheon Indianapolis card here. Not sure who that company is. I'm not real familiar. I'm familiar with TriStar, but I don't know what company this is. But I did see that Andrew McCutcheon when he played with the Indians, how to pick that up. Got this Jim Palmer All-Star card from, I believe, 78? Yes, 78. I like that one. And then uh, found this rookie card of Lance Berkman as well. Then they had these other sleeves. Uh, they just took a page and made three cards in each sleeve, so I figured the prices I liked. Here's some uh, Reggie Miller cards, Rick Smith's there. And then the last one, I think, is all Reggie. So I couldn't go wrong on those. Just figure they'll add to my my little collection here. I say little as I'm surrounded by literally walls of cards. But inside this antique mall, they had a consignment shop. And I came across this little goodie. A 124th scale Dale Earnhardt Jr. And I've seen this here and there on eBay. And I'll go ahead and pull it out of the box here, just so you guys can see that it did come with the sleeve and it did come with everything. Because I did ask him if I could open the box up when I was there, because I wanted to make sure that the car was in it. Look at that beauty. That is awesome. That was one of the best die-cast vehicles I've ever purchased. Got a really nice price on it. Don't know what I'm going to do with this if I'm going to PC this one. Let's flip that hood open. There you go, you guys can look in the hood there. You know, has the active suspension and everything. So this was a car that Dale Jr. got his start in, in racing with. Of course, it's got the, okay, oh, okay, I just now noticed it does have the Winston Racing Series logos on it. Prime Sirloin, AC, there you see Goodwrench Performance Parts. Get you a look at the back of the car, front of the car, very nice. So we'll just set this one off to the side here and leave him in the video for the day. And then we'll go ahead and open up this box, because I know this is what you guys have been waiting on, getting some more cards to open up. So let's go ahead and finish opening this box. I'm going to do this off camera so I don't topple the whole thing over. Of course, these are just the Fairfield Repack boxes, standard that I've been getting. If you're new to the channel, I open a couple of these every once in a while when I want to get a chance to get over there. Plus, I was really out of videos. I'm still waiting on some cards to come in. I've had put a hold on my mail since I was going to be out of town. So I won't have any new packages or new boxes to open till tomorrow for you guys. So I went ahead and got me a couple of these Fairfield boxes. always like keeping these on hand just in case that I run out of something. i got something new to show you. Let's see what our pack is. It looks like it is 2015 opening. So I haven't seen much of those, so I don't know who may or may not be in those sets. 
but we do start off with an 89 tops card of Rafael Palmero. These might be score traded. Yeah, these are traded cards, so I might be able to work a set of those now. I'm not sure who all's in the traded set, but obviously it's an orange border. The regular 89 or the 90 score set has green, red, and blue borders. Another 89 tops, Terry Kennedy. So I'll get some of these pulled to the side because obviously I'm working on some of these sets. I haven't really got, I haven't done a deep dive in them to know what I need and what I don't need. But I do have them separated somewhat into some boxes, so it'll make it a little bit easier once that process gets started. Who's this? Ken Ryan. Not familiar with him. We've got some 89 Donruss. Is this their? No, I thought it might have been their traded set also. But it's not, or update, or whatever they called it. There's a, there's a regular scorecard with the red border. Wally Backman, 89 Donruss. So obviously there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of junk wax in this, this particular one. Of course, there usually is. Not any big deal to me. 86 tops. I may try to put together a set of that whenever I open that box 86 tops. Is that his rookie? That is Pete Incavilia's rookie. We'll set that one aside. I don't know. I'll have to look that one up. That one might have a tiny bit of value. Looks like we do have some traded cards in here. Somebody just looks like they opened up the traded sets, pulled out all the big rookies, and uh, stuck the rest into, into one of these little repack boxes. Lloyd Mosby. I believe he might have played with the Expos at one time. Or the Blue Jays. I knew it was one of the two Canadian teams that baseball had. Of course, now the Expos are the Washington Nationals. There's Mike Greenwell. Always set his stuff aside just because he ran in a few NASCAR races, the Truck Series races, back in the mid-2000s. Mike Dunn, 88 Fleer. Jo or, I thought that said Josh Jeff Hamilton. Doesn't matter if I have my glasses or contacts on, I'm still not that. There's Harold Baines. Of course, Harold is a Hall of Famer. Set him aside. I do try to separate the Hall of Famers when I catch them. I know that they don't have a lot more value than a common card, but still sometimes... People will search out Hall of Famers just to add to their collections or what have you. I mean, I just collect cards that I like. That doesn't have to be a Hall of Famer. I think I set that 91 Tops Benito Santiago card aside one day just because I liked the way that it looked. And why aren't we going to focus? There we go. Greg Booker, 88 Tops. Probably one of my least favorite sets. Walt Weiss, member of that mini A's dynasty from 88 to 90. Turn back the clock, Stan Musial. Really, I really don't set aside those turn back the clock ones because they're just, I kind of look at them as commons. If somebody else wants to have fun with it or whatever if they collect those. Just It just doesn't make my list of considering, I know it's a base card, but it's a it's just a card that doesn't interest me very much, at least in the baseball world it doesn't. We have a Gabe Kapler, not ringing a bell there. What do we have here? Um, we have on the, read a little bit about that. Kurt Schilling and Randy Johnson. Very nice. World Series champions. Fleer Platinum, we'll set that one aside. Jason Giambi. Then we have a an Adam Wainwright and Ramon or Raymond Hernandez. Some of the pronunciations of names from other areas I'm not real sure of, uh, dialects and such. Cameron Drew, that's a minor league card. Who do we have here? Dave Sachs. Not sure if he's related to Steve Sachs. I'm sure somebody will find out for us. It's a Cracker Jack card. That's interesting. We've got some 87 tops here that are flipped around. Got a, yeah, certainly, because I just seen that was an 89 traded. So it certainly does look like somebody opened up some traded sets, pulled out all the good cards, and uh, kind of left the rest to uh, be scrapped in these... Uh, these ones, let's see here, what, what brand is this one? This is the Ted Williams Card Company. 
so I'm not sure when these came out. I believe this was part of the Donner's opening day set, perhaps. Or it could be there. Yeah, the opening day set. I had a factory set of that a long time ago. There's a huge Johnny Ray error card in there that's probably the most sought after card in that set. I can't remember who the picture actually was of, but it's not Johnny Ray. We have some 88 Donruss. So I'll probably eventually work a set of this too. I got a lot of it laying around. Got some 87 tops here. I do have a box of that I'll eventually open up. Lance Parrish All-Star. Joel Skinner. We got one more stack to go here. A Todd Zeal. That would have been a big card everybody wanted in 1990. Mickey Hatcher. Got some more 87 tops. Just wanted to make sure that those weren't traded cards. Because again, I'm not familiar who's in the traded sets and who's not for these years. Steve Lake. Rob Woodward. So we definitely, <coughs> excuse me, definitely got a lot of Junk Wax Pro cards. I'm not sure about that one. Al, Al Nipper. So we did get a lot of Junk Wax in here. We got some 88 score, you see. I'm not upset about that. I understand that every time I buy one of these, I run the risk of uh, getting stuff like this or maybe getting some really good things. And I guess it just depends on who's packing on what day. Maybe if the person this particular day. Ooh, that's a nice one. Set that one aside. Huntsville Stars, 1985 Terry Steinbeck. Very nice. I'll have to, have to look that one up. Kind of interesting. Once in a while you get a surprise like that too, so I did like that one. Got some 88 score here. I'll probably eventually work a set of it. Then we've got three or four newer cards here. Who do we have? Miguel Sano. Pretty nice. Did I have another one behind that? No, there's just three together. Adam Frazier and Tommy Pham. Or Pam, I don't know. Again, I'm not good on pronunciations. I don't hear them. This one actually does have odds on it, so we might be able to pull something decent. I have no clue who's in 2015 opening day. Who to look for, who's good, who's not. Hopefully we'll just get something really nice and be happy. We have Oswaldo something, Elvis Andrews, Pat Neshek, Donnie, okay, Adrian Beltre, I can do that one, Matt Holliday, and the last car of the pack is Gio Gonzalez. So maybe there's a couple good cards in those newer ones, I don't know. We're going to save this box here for another day, maybe a day where I'm... Uh, running behind and don't have time to sort out some stuff. Probably the best cards in this were the ones that you see me set aside. The Terry Steinbeck Burger King card, the Kurt Schilling, Randy Johnson, Postseason Glory, the Harold Baines, Mike Greenwell, and the Pete Incavilia Rookie. I'll look those up here in just a little bit and see how they are. But once again, if you're ever in south of Louisville, go check out this place here. That uh, They didn't have a lot of cards, didn't have a lot of die casts, but just a lot of interesting stuff. They're really, really nice people, so go check them out if you get a chance to. I, I Like I said, I got a sweet deal on this 124 scale Dale Jr. car. I'll probably keep that PC for a while, but <coughs> I don't know. If, if, I, if I decide I want to sell it, you know, you guys will be the first to know. But we are still holding steady, about 122 subs right now. Like I say, when we get to 500, we'll do another giveaway. It'll be a relic card. And it'll be racing, wrestling, and baseball, just like the rookie cards were. So once again, I thank everybody for watching. Keep those likes, subscriptions, and comments a-coming. I will thank you again for watching. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and see you again tomorrow.